<laughs> if you are supporting TNR, would you please stand up? So TNR is trap, neuter, return. It's, it's, it's just such a cruel thing. Cats kill billions of birds annually. Trap, neuter, release is, is a joke. Most people don't know what to do with feral cats. City is a new documentary about the feral side of Chicago policy, raising questions about the right way to care for feral cats and who gets to decide. Filmmaker Ben Kolak joins us now with more. And Ben, I never realized how big of an issue this was and how divisive yeah. it is. Is this how you got involved because something happened in your neighborhood or your community? How did you come up with this idea of doing a documentary about sure, it? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, um... Most of the documentary projects I take on kind of find me. Oh, okay. uh, and so <laughs> this was the the case here, uh, uh, both in the building I live in in Hyde Park. Uh, uh, there's some colony caretakers, and uh, we have a shared garden, mm -hmm. and we had a rabbit problem. And so somebody asked one of the colony caretakers, oh, should we get a cat colony? And she said, no, no, because then we'll have both a rabbit and a cat problem uh, uh, there. And then similarly, one of my uh, coworkers had a kitten problem in her alley and called about it. And uh, um, yeah, it kind of fell into it. Uh, 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 it's a great lens to understand the, the city. Yeah. And uh, uh, that's really what I, I look for as a documentary filmmaker. It, there's so many layers to it that's unexpected. Uh, I was like, okay, well, cats. I'm, I don't care about cats. But I do care about the, the cross-cultural issues between housing and race and all that stuff have to do with feral cats. How does that all get in there <laughs> together? Sure, sure, sure. Well, uh, uh, Chicago's really kind of a, a, a test case for a big city having this kind of ordinance that, that protects them. And a part of the, the reason for the ordinance was a way to uh, 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 have volunteers in large part take care, of this, take care of this issue. And so part of what comes with that is that other uh, uh, conceptions or, or ways of, of dealing with one's uh, uh, neighbors that end up playing out over the cats, where people have different ideas about what's the proper way to, to, to take care of a cat. You know, how much do you have to feed it? What kind of housing should it have? Mm -hmm. And you end up with situations where people take each other's cats. They, they feel they're not doing a good job. And, you know, whoa, what, what's the precedent? And so these are some of the situations that our film gets into. Uh, um, and, yeah, really a lot of it parallels other challenges we have in our city about, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. In, in your documentary, what's the definition of a feral cat? Yeah, that's a, <laughs> a, a great question. Yeah. Uh, 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 so uh, part of having the ordinance in Chicago is that uh, uh, it gets defined. So it's a cat that's not friendly, right? So if you come up and you're stunging with a cat, it's not a feral cat. It's living outside. Usually if a cat is born outside and lives there for at least eight weeks, it's really difficult, if not impossible, to get it domesticated, to get it to move inside. So that's really what a feral cat is. And we're stuck with this challenge, right? What do we do? Do we euthanize them? Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to be right. behind something like that. Um, the shelters are overcrowded, mm. so that's why this policy of trapping them, neutering them, and returning them to the area where they're at is seen as a more humane solution. Mm. Unless you're a birder, and then right. that, you dive into that, they're not happy about that, correct? That's right. Okay. Uh, 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 there's a landmark uh, a study that the Smithsonian uh, put out some years ago that uh, claimed that uh, outdoor cats kill billions of birds annually. And so that's really behind a lot of the uh, 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 concern in the conservation mm -hmm. community. Why is there this policy that's protecting an invasive species, right? We spend all this money and time trying to protect the native species in this area, and these cats are running rampant, you know, k killing uh, uh, songbirds and other uh, birds and mammals across our city. But we still have a huge rat problem, and I thought <laughs> cats took care of the rats. That's a, 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 a really good point as well. Uh, in the film, uh, we spoke with Chris Lepsick, uh, who's down at Auburn University. He's the world's foremost expert on cat prey. And uh, uh, according to his research, cats are really opportunistic predators. So okay. they're going to go after the easy kill, which is almost never a rat. So no. there's really no science that shows that cats have an impact on rats. Mm. That said, they'll often make them less visible, right? Mm. If you have a cat in your area, the rats are going to hide more, which I think for a lot of people is a That's good enough a solution. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So do you come up with a solution to the problem, or is it more of... This is what's out there. Get involved. Very, very much so. Okay. I, uh, as I said, I'm, I'm really interested in Chicago as a vibrant, uh, diverse, dynamic city. And I feel like the feral cat situation really embodies that, where yeah. there's many people with different perspectives. <laughs> uh, 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 and I feel like in the end, what we have now is a good outcome, where the cats help provide for mental health for many of their colony caregivers. Um, 
uh, it's not perfect, but it's, it's certainly uh, 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 working in some regards. A lot of the people that are providing support to these colonies could use more help. Mm -hmm. uh, there's lots of great organizations like Treehouse Humane Society, Cats in Action, PAWS that are supporting these uh, uh, colony caretakers. All right, so <clears throat> we can obviously find out more about this if we watch the documentary. Yes. It's out now, <laughs> right? It's cat.city.org is where you can find it. It's on a couple of different platforms, right? It is. It's streaming now on Canopy, which is available through a lot of uh, public libraries and universities. It's also mm -hmm. on Vimeo On Demand and will uh, be on uh, Amazon soon. All right. Awesome. Um, it's fascinating. All right, well, thank you for joining thank us. You so you bring up a whole conversation a lot of people never even thought about, no right? No kidding. Yeah, fascinating. Mm.